Thank you.
being quiet because I have a chicken sleeping next to me. But I wanted to show you this that my friend Kerry had made for me. Isn't it beautiful? This little pebble robin. It's on a slate heart with dad. It's not going to just get stuck come out at Christmas. It's going to stay out all year round. But I absolutely love it. The reason I'm being quiet is because my beautiful Alice chicken is in there. She's poorly. We think she's got a respiratory infection. She'll be going to the vets if she doesn't get any better by Monday. But we just brought her in to keep an eye on her. So I will update you with how she is tomorrow. A friend of mine asked if I could help with um, putting together a, a learn to knit kit as a gift. I had a look online at what was available and I thought, hmm, I can do better than that. So uh, I'll show you what we're going to put in it. I've got two balls of this King Cole Drifter and it's so soft. This looks a bit brown in the in the video, but actually it's a sort of a lilac-y taupe colour. Uh, and it's got cotton and uh, wool and acrylic and it feels very soft and I thought it's a good smooth one and it's a nice solid tone for learning to, to knit with. We've got some nice bamboo four mil straights and then I've put together a little notions kit. I'm gonna pop them in this nice little organza bag. We've got a tape measure. We've got some knitters, darning needles or bodkins. We've got a set of really nice little embroidery scissors. And I've just put together a set of progress keepers and stitch markers, which I thought would go nicely with the yarns. I'm going to pack it all up now so that it's ready for them to collect to go under the tree. There we go. All parceled up and looking rather pleasing, if I do say so myself. Now on to something a little more selfish. I spent all of the afternoon at my mum's house helping her with putting her decorations up. And I completely forgot to take, I was so busy doing it, I completely forgot to take any footage. <laughs> but whilst I was there, she gave me some bits of fabric. She hasn't given me all of it. I'm going to cut some hexes and then take it back to her. So these ones, a couple of little bits, these are lovely Santas. I think those, that might have been from my sister Wend, and I think this one is as well, this lovely snowflake. So I'm just going to cut a little bit of those. And then there's these two beautiful, look at that. They coordinate, obviously. And then this incredible one that reminds me of rose windows from a cathedral. And this beautiful sort of Scandinavian snowflakey house. Then another different red snowflake pattern. And last of all, this one, it's got little squirrels on it, which is very apt because that's our nickname for my mum, squirrel. <laughs> she hates it. I may have told you that before, but we persist in naming her that anyway. So I got myself a cup of caramel, salted caramel Leibkuchen. That's a bird and blend, blend tea. And I'm catching up with Helen from Giddy Knits. Hello, Helen. And I'm going to cut some hexes and then I'm going to go to bed and I'm going to sit and stitch a few. <laughs> so on that note, I'm going to say ta-ta for now and I'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching.